I am Beatrice Snail reporting for Kids First Film Critics. I'm nine years old. And today we're talking about The Cat in the Hat Knows a Lot About That. Season 3, Volume 2. It's The Cat in the Hat. All of your adventures start like that. That's right. Dr. Seuss's most lovable cat is back and right as rain. He is back with his best friends, Sally and Nick. Now, since they're only six years old, of course they have many unusual questions that only the cat can answer by taking them in the thingamajigger and to his imaginative places. And that's just what he does. At the beginning of each episode, Sally and Nick are playing in their backyard with fish. When they run into a problem, when things look their bleakest and they can't solve it, the cat pops out and whips them in their thingamajigger, and they go to all sorts of crazy places that will help them solve the problems. Now, you're probably thinking, the cat needs a helper if he's going to help two kids. And he does have a helper. In fact, he has two, thing one and thing two. They're both mischievous twins, and they always get themselves into trouble. But they help the cat a lot. Let's get into the setting. It starts in their backyard, but who knows where you go once the cat and the thingamajigger pops out. The theme song is a catchy and fun song that tells you about the adventures you're about to see. The cat is played by Martin Short. Sally is played by Alexa Torrington. And Nick is played by Jacob Iwanok. And the fish is played by Rob Tinkler. Let's get deeper into their personalities. The cat is a fun-loving cat who always seems to have to make some jokes. Sally is a cute little girl who is really smart and can't wait to go on any adventure as long as she is with Nick, a fun-loving, witty little boy. And Fish is way too smart and sassy for his own good. The message of this film is to be a child while you still can and learn all you can too. I give this series a 4 out of 5 stars and recommend it for ages 2 to 9. It is available on DVD now. This is Beatrice Snail reporting for Kids First Film Critics. See you later!